Hi, welcome back to the Truck and Scribe. It's Esther. Today we're going to be working with these little bitty envelope or bags. I'm going to make one that has a closure right here. You can open it up, and there's a little, you got little goodies in there. Another one is got a little tag right here, and then it goes, fills up up there and my other one is just the top of this bag i opened it out and i made a pocket out of it collage the front so i'm not sure yet what i'm going to do with this pocket but it's going to go in in my journal somewhere so thank you for stopping by and i hope you have a great day so paula one of the administrators at journaling with the truck inscribed. She got, she got me into making paper sack journals. Well, I've been looking, been looking for other things to do, and I just ordered these on Amazon. I got like a hundred, five or six dollars. I wasn't expecting them to be so small, but six and a half by three and a half so i was watching julie over at camellia crafts designs she um used these for pockets so that's what i kind of want to do with them i think it would be a good thing to have and it definitely will go in i am I'm running it out of pages because I've been much. So I'm using the Apothecary the Junk Journal Cafe for this month. It's a group membership that you get into. And you get, I mean, they've already, the ones that I have, there's like 60 to 70 of printouts right now. I've already cut out a lot of them. So definitely go over there and see these are some of the other prints that were in there that I've already made. Like if you haven't seen the videos yet, they'll be up soon. But Julie made pockets. I called myself clean up while ago. Here we go. So I got these on Amazon. I think there's like 100, 200 in the pack. I was wanting them to be bigger, but, you know. So right here, I'm going to have a little pocket right there. But I want this to be collaged up in there in some kind of way. And I've got all of this. It's already cut. And some of it's been removed. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to take, and it doesn't even need to be, actually I can go from the top right here and glue it because it's going to go under this little flap. And we're getting, so I have a new book. That I'm probably gonna put up. I don't know, I may put it up with this one. It lets you keep up with your swaps and things in the groups. It has a place for names and addresses, details of dates and proof of shipping, which group it is, and all that. And I've got it. It's just listed on Amazon as a paperback, and I hope to get a few more out. But the junk journaling with the truck and scribe book, this one will be at a discounted rate, where the other ones will be a little bit more. This one has actually a um, QR code inside so that you can. If you're not a member, you can scan it and it'll take you over to the group and you can 
answer a few questions and become a member and hang out with us. So I am doing this for the Junk Journal Cafe group is the one working with these. And I decided that I want to try this month because I actually was just introduced to it recently. I didn't know they even existed. Um, so this month I decided we're doing fall for October. So what I thought was these are kind of fallish too. And then I'm, some of the other stuff that I'm using could be considered fall. You know, that would be perfect if it's sideways. I guess it still could go on there. Let's see what else I've done. I've cut all kinds of stuff. These I've cut out. What about this one? Look at that. That fits just perfect. So this kit has some mushrooms in it. It has forestry. You can see it's got cabinets with potions in it. So it could be used as a fall theme also. Or even Halloween if you wanted to, to do that. So if you want to do some something right in there, you can. This is going to be a quick and easy little journal. So that fit pretty much. I don't know, do I want to put it all the way down in there? So you can use this as a standalone pocket if you want. Or you can glue it. You can glue it down to your junk journal page. So I'm just putting this in here to cover up some of that paper bag in the back. You don't have to. So you can put something on the side if you if you want to. Let me see. I don't know if I need anything on the side though. I'm going to go ahead and glue this right here. And right here. I actually like this. It turns out very nice. Let's see. I already have several tags cut out. These are cut out and already backed to give it more strength. So this is just paper. See how easy it folds. This is cardstock. You put one right there. Then let me see what else I got in here. I have like this that would fit in. Could make it a journaling card. I actually have more than that. I want to see. You know what I want to look at is that those jars. Here they go. So it's not going to quite fit in there, but that's okay. So this would not either, but this will. This will. These would fit in here. You could actually open this up and have a lot more room. So there's one. I'm going to leave like that. So let's do another one of these. I love these jars. I could actually 
print some more out and print them like maybe smaller size two to a page because it comes three to a page or three on a page so do two pages and actually print out six of them so I did like the little thing where you cut you make this open Oh, I have to find my So another thing we can do how did she do that? Let's cut this off right here. Oh yeah, my bag is. So make sure it'll open first before you start gluing a lot of stuff. Then you can take something and put it right here. Maybe right there. What else do I got? Those tags were just the right size, wasn't they? Yep. So I'm going to glue that one on. So what was so cool with these, we got a book page here, is you could put it down like that and put a little clip right here and something to hold it open and you can open it. I'll go ahead and glue this one down just so I, uh, I can see, <laughs> I can show you what I'm talking about. Let me see what do I want for a latch. Could do. I'm trying to think of how to do this. Go with that one. Mm -hmm. oh, I didn't plan this out very well. I'm going to say right about there's the middle, so I'm going to poke a hole for my bread. Then, I want to find something that can kind of swivel that's not quite so big. So i got this that I could use, or this that I think I like better. I want it to do is kind of sit right there and be able to, or a circle, maybe a circle would do it. I don't know. I set it like that, then you could open it and pick it back up and Yes, I'll find that other one sooner or later. Let's see. This will do what I want it to do. And there's something over there. Hmm. 
I'll glue this down because I'm going to cover that up anyway with something. I don't know what, but that needs a little more strength. Okay. And you can turn it like this and open it. I can always trim it soon. So yeah, now you got a closure. You can turn it and open the bag. Put some little goodies in it. Let's see what we got. Got some yarn going there. I got a little tag that could go in there, I think. Not quite. Now I could put this little stamps in there. Okay. And it closes just right back up. And you just twist it around so then this page I'll need to cover that up. That is pretty neat. So that's one one bag, another bag, one bag. Okay, so then I have this left. Which could be used as another pocket. It's a little bit on the big side, so good. We could do though. So we could decorate it and put it on a page and it go over the page. Like that. And cut it a little bit straighter. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take and decorate this side. It looks pretty, pretty good. I'm just going to stick some off this side because I want it to I'm going to go ahead and put some glue down here at this bottom that way it will I say I'm going to put some glue let it sit here and dry up on me. Then I have this that could go on the edge. I'm using all my scraps. That one's not quite as big enough. I think I like that better.
I wonder if I should have went on over down there, make that a little bit longer. I want to put something on the back. See what I want to do. I just want to complete. See, I could do a book page, just regular book page. Where have I put some? No, because I do want this to, it will be showing up on both sides. So I need to do it this way. So I want it. Could do the drugstore on this side. And the herbs, some herbs maybe. So now I need another small piece to go up there. This one's Back. Oh, back here. Uh, yeah, I like that one because I want the real peak. To... See, these look almost alike, but they're not quite. I'm looking for. I like the color of it. So I think I'll go up to the top that way. This one there. Let me put this one behind it. I don't need to go over a lot on that side, but I want to go some. That and then put that across. Mm, no, I can't make up my mind. I just need something to come across this bottom. You know, when you want a little bitty piece, you can't find one. There's one. 
It's not that I'm stingy with my paper, it just I don't know. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay. So this can either be used as a pocket, which is gonna be kind of big. What I was thinking was it could be folded and used as a or a page like this. Now I'm going to leave it long, let it dry. So for today, that is my paper bag. Let's see where my other one goes. I gotta find them. Yeah, there's one. So out of our paper bags, we got one pocket there that we may turn into a half to a flip. This one will glue onto a page like this, and then it can open up, or you can glue it down and you can still open it up. It has a place for a tag right there. And you can add more stuff back here. And this one, we already talked about that one. This one here, you just flip it around. And you open it up and you got goodies in there. So that's three that we just did with a little small paper bag. Thank you for hanging around with me and making these paper bag pockets. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new here, it'd be great if you hit the subscribe button. If you've been here for a while, I really appreciate it and I'm glad you came back. Hit the like button and, and let me know what kind of projects you'd like to do with a paper bag. Thank you guys and have a great day.